people all over this world. Yeah, people all over this world. Say people all over this world, they're looking for Jesus. Hello, my friend. It's me again, Bishop John R. Stevenson, and I want to welcome you to It's a Word Thing. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus, and we just want to say thank you for this opportunity to study the Word of God today. Father, I thank you for the anointing that rests upon my life to preach and teach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your Word is already anointed and blessed. I pray that you will bless those who are participating and viewing the telecast today. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's get right into the Word since it's a Word thing. We've been talking about faith is. And we've been discussing what faith is. And so while I was uh, seeking the Lord about the things that we would talk about today, he gave me some very exciting things to talk about today. And so I'm very excited, and I pray that you'll be excited uh, about what you're going to hear and learn today uh, through the Holy Ghost. So let's take a look. We want to go to Hebrews chapter 11. I want to look at verse number 3. Uh, normally we go to Hebrews chapter 11, we go straight to verse number 1. But I want to look at verse number 3 and listen to what the scripture says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. That the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do not appear. I'm sorry, which do appear. Let me read that to you again. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. And so this is what the Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit gave me for us today. Listen to this friend. Put your spiritual ears on. Get excited about what God is going to say to you this morning. Listen to this. Faith is. That's what we've been talking about. Faith is. Faith is. Watch now. Faith is what I need and faith is who I need. Faith is what I need and faith is who I need. Listen, my friend. Faith is what I need to get what I need from God. Faith is what I need to get what I need from God. I know it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but I'm not. Just pay attention, my friend. And faith is who I need to get what I need from God. And faith is who I need to get what I need from God. Watch now. And faith is when is the question. When is faith? Faith is. Faith is now. Faith is now. I'm sitting here in front of this camera preaching and teaching the word of God to you today because of faith. I am a man of faith because I understand faith. And God wants you to understand faith. One of the things that the Holy Spirit was speaking to me while I was en route here today is that faith is not something that talks you into anything. Listen to the Holy Spirit, my friend. Faith does not talk us into anything. Most people look at faith as people trying to talk us into things. No, my friend, faith is not talking us into anything. Faith derives out of the information that we have that will cause us to believe. The Bible says that these things were written that we might believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Faith cometh. Faith cometh. Faith is not something that talk us into anything. No, we're not trying to talk you into anything. Friend, I'm not trying to talk you into anything. What I want to do is what I'm attempting to do in the leadership of the Holy Spirit is get you to a place to where you have real faith in God, to where you experience what faith in the Lord Jesus Christ can do for you. Not trying to talk you anything, but want to guide you into believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. So faith is what I need to get what I need from God. Faith is who I need to get what I need from God. And faith is 
now. Faith is now. Follow me. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want to flow in this, which is so that I don't miss anything that the Lord has given me for us today. Listen to this, friend. Faith is now. Watch now. Faith is now. So I need faith now. Faith is now, and so I need faith now. When do I need faith, friend? I need faith now. Say that with me. I need faith now. Listen to this. Faith is how, watch now, the faith I have now, the faith I have now, listen, my friend, the faith I have now will determine what and how much I will have tomorrow. I, I, I love that. Let me say it to you again. The faith I have now will determine how much I will have tomorrow. The faith I have now determines how much and what I can have tomorrow. That, that's pretty powerful, friend. It's not the faith that you're going to have tomorrow. What you can believe God for now, what you can trust the Lord Jesus Christ for now will determine what you will receive in the future, down the road, as we say, round the corner. The faith I have now determines how much and what I can have tomorrow. Faith is now. Remember that, friend. Faith is now. Remember now. My now faith determines, watch now, my now faith determines my what and my how much. <laughs> my, my, I, I had to write it down for you, friend. It's so good. I had to write it down so I make sure I can repeat what the Holy Ghost said. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Faith is now. Remember now, remember now, my now faith determines Watch this, my what and my how much I will receive tomorrow. Now, now, I, I love this. That, that's why I, I keep repeating it because uh, faith coming by hearing. Faith is now. Remember now, my now faith determines my what and my how much I will receive tomorrow. You ought to put your hands together and give God some glory for real, friend, because God has given us revelation, and I'm so excited right now. What I'm hoping, though, is it's stirring your spirit up this morning. Faith is. Faith is, and faith is now. Listen, faith is now. Yes, it is. The Bible says that faith is. So it's very important first to understand this about faith. To understand what, Bishop, about faith? That faith is now. And my now faith will determine how much and what I can have tomorrow. It's all about what I can trust God for and believe him for now. Whether I can see it or not, because faith is not about what I see. Mm -mm. Faith is not about what I see. Listen, I, I have to write it down for us, friend. Faith is now. Faith is not tomorrow. Faith is now. Faith is not tomorrow. Faith is not, watch this, faith is not yesterday. No, no, faith is not yesterday, and faith is not sooner or later. Faith is now. Let me say that again. Faith is now. Faith is not tomorrow. Faith is not yesterday. Faith is not sooner or later. Faith is now. Faith is now, my now faith. What kind of faith do you have right now, friend? Where is your faith right now? I wrote a song about it. God gave me a song about it. Where is your faith today? Where is your faith today? What level is your faith today? How strong are you in your faith today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let, let's, let's look at this next one here. Faith is not, I, I, I have to say it again, friend. Faith is not a concept or an idea. Faith is not a concept or an idea that takes me back to saying faith is not trying to attempt to talk us into anything. Faith is there to get us to believe, to really be able to believe and experience the power of the Lord Jesus Christ operating in my life. The power of the word of God operating in my life. It is not a concept nor an idea. Faith is the substance and the evidence. It's the substance and the evidence. Watch this. Faith causes the untouchable to become touchable. <laughs> Faith causes the untouchable to become touchable. That thing that I can't see, that thing I can't seem to grab hold to. 
Faith causes the untouchable to be touchable, and it causes the unseen to be, oh, Lord, have mercy. It, it causes, watch now, it, faith causes, oh, I love this. Let me, let me not get ahead of myself because I'm getting excited right now. Faith causes the untouchable to become touchable, the unseen to become seen. The untouchable to be touchable, the unseen to be seen. Friend, that's what faith will do for you. That, that thing that's out of reach, that thing that you can't seem to get a hold of, that, that thing that you can't seem to make happen in your life, grab hold of faith. Faith will grab hold of that thing for you. And that thing that you can't seem to make happen, faith will make that thing happen for you. That thing you can't seem to hold on to, faith will cause you to be able to hold on to some things that you can't seem to hold on to. Come on, somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Give the Lord some real praise right now because if I'm being stirred up, and you, you ought to be getting stirred up right now. It ought to be causing some things to go off in your mind, in your heart right now because this is the missing piece of the puzzle. Faith is the missing piece of the puzzle. You seem to have everything else, but you don't have faith. I, I, I mean, if you got a recipe to bake a cake and you don't have eggs, my friend, and it call for eggs, then you don't have everything you need to make a good cake. And so until I get faith, I don't have everything I need to make a good life, to walk a good Christian walk and to live a good Christian life. If I don't have faith, I don't have it. I can't do it without faith. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse number six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. So I don't care what you do for the Lord. If you don't have faith, you can't please him. I don't care how much you do. Without faith, he's not pleased. Come on, clap your hands right there because that's the missing piece. <laughs> that's the missing piece of the puzzle, friend. Faith is what's missing. Faith is what's missing. Let me get it back over here because I got to make sure that I stay lined up with what God is saying for us this morning. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. <coughs> Faith causes the invisible to come into focus. Faith causes the invisible to come into focus. You know how something can be at a distance. You, you take a, a, a telescope. And if you focus it, I, I mean, all of a sudden that thing comes closer to you. Faith will cause, li, 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 I, I got to, faith causes the invisible to come into focus. That thing that you can't see, it causes it to come into focus, into view. Watch now, friend. Watch now. Faith causes the imagination to become your reality. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Faith causes your your causes your your imagination, friend, to become a reality. We, we, we can imagine a lot of things and we say we can, we can see ourselves here, we can see ourselves there, friend. But listen, you can't get there without faith. I, I don't care how much faith causes the imagination to become a reality. Boy, I tell you right now, I'm pretty stirred up right now, my friend. I'm pretty stirred up right now. Can you see what God is saying? Can you hear what God is saying to you today through the Holy Spirit? Faith is what causes things to happen. Not your willpower. Not your intuition. Faith causes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Listen, my friend. Some things you will never have nor see without faith. Some things you will never have or see without faith. I'm going to say it again. Some things you will never, ever have or see or experience without faith. In the body of Christ today, friend, the reason that we're not experiencing certain things, limbs growing, eyes popping in the sockets, people being healed on a regular basis, is because we don't have the faith to see it happen. We don't have the kind of faith to bring those things to pass. Well, that's where God has taken us. God wants to get us to a certain place in our faith to where things begin to happen. They begin to happen. Jesus never waited on anything because he had the faith to make it happen. He spoke it, it happened. The power of death and life is in our tongue. We can speak those things that be not my friend as though they were. Some things you will never see or experience without faith. Without faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is what I'm talking about, friend. I'm just not talking about you having just faith, just believing in anything or anybody. I'm talking about the kind of faith that we need to have in the Lord Jesus Christ. If I want to see things happen in my life, I need to have faith in the one that faith comes from. 
Yeah, the one that faith comes from, my friend. Faith is not just coming from anywhere. In order for me to have faith, I got to have some Jesus. Clap your hands right there. Got to have me some Jesus. I got to have faith in him because he is the way. Watch my friend. Jesus is the way to the father who has it all. Jesus is the way. Uh-huh. The, the Bible says, John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man coming to the Father but by me. You got to understand, my friend, Jesus, having faith in Jesus is what we need. That's the missing piece because he is the way. Mm -hmm. He is the way to the Father who has it all. He is the way to the Father who has it all. The Bible lets us know that the earth and the fullness thereof, it all belongs to the Lord. It all belongs to God. The cattle of a thousand hills all belong to God. And all of us that dwell in this land all belong to God. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. That's what you need right there. Listen, listen, because he is the way to the Father who has it all and who can do it all. Who has it all and who can do it all. When Mary, uh, Gabriel was talking to Mary about uh, conceiving, and she said, I know not a man. She said, but be it unto me according to your word and your will for my life. So she had a faith enough to say, okay, I may not know a man, and I may not know how you're going to do it, but go ahead on. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the faith that whatever you say, it can happen. While Abraham, all up in age, 100-something years old, and, and, and Sarah is 90-something years old, Abraham had the faith that that son that God promised him would come to pass. He imagined it, but his faith would bring that thing to a reality. Come on, friend. Give God some glory. Your faith will make your imagination a reality in your life. The unseen, seen, that thing that can't be seen, come into focus for you. Faith, my friend. Faith, faith, faith. I'm excited right now for you. I'm excited for you, my friend, because faith is the missing piece in your life. That's that thing that's missing in your life. Listen to this, friend. Listen to this. Listen to this right here. Faith is not just believing in God. We have a lot of people who believe in God, but they don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't believe in the Holy Spirit. No, no, friend. Faith is not just believing in God. That's not what faith is. You can't say I have faith in God, but I don't have no faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't believe in him at all. No, friend, that, that, that's, not, that, that's not it. Watch now. True faith, listen, true faith is when I believe in the Father and the Son. Uh-huh, <clears throat> uh-huh. Uh don't leave out the Holy Ghost. Watch now, but I'm dealing with the Father and the Son right now, though. True faith is when, is when we believe in the Father and the Son. Watch now. And you can't have the one without the other because they are one. And you can't have the one without the other because they are one. Jesus said, me and my Father are one in the same. They are one in the same. You can't have the one without the the other, friend. You can't have the one without the other. First John chapter 2, starting at verse 21. First John 2. First John 2. I hope you got your Bible with your friend because it's a word thing. First, first John 2. I want to start at verse number 21. Listen to what it says, my friend. Listen to what it says. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is antichrist that denied that the father, watch this, denied the father and the son. Whosoever denied the son, watch my friend, whosoever denied the son, the same hath not the father. If I deny the son, then I don't have the Father. I can't have the Son, the Father, without the Son. Watch now. Whosoever denied the Son, the same have not the Father, but he that acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Look at that, friend. But he who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Next verse. Let that therefore abide in you, 
which ye have heard from the beginning, if that which we have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, you also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. You shall continue in the Son and in the Father, friend. We have to come to the understanding, we have to come to the understanding, friend, that faith is not just believing in God. No, no, I have to believe in the Son as well. I have to believe in the Son as well. In John chapter 14, verse number one, the Gospel of John chapter 14, verse number one. I'm enjoying this, friend. I hope you are too, sir, ma'am. I hope you're enjoying this this morning, right now, this evening, because I'm enjoying it. I am really enjoying what God is saying to us. I get the privilege of hearing it over and over and over again. You know why? Because faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Listen to what Jesus says right here in John chapter 14, verse number one. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, watch now, believe also in me. You believe in God, believe also in me. He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. You believe in God, believe also in me. Faith is not just believing in God. Faith is believing in Jesus Christ as well because salvation come through him. Salvation come through Jesus, my friend. So faith is not just believing in God. Faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at the rest of this that God has given to me for us today. Let's look at John chapter 10, verse 22. John chapter 10, because we're dealing with what faith is. We're dealing with what faith is. So if we deal with what faith is, we'll automatically come to the conclusion of what faith is not. If we come, if we know what faith is, we'll know what faith is not. And so those who say that they have faith in these other religions that don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that don't believe in the Holy Spirit, they can't have a, a, a relationship with the true and living God. They might have a relationship with a God, but it's not the true and living God. We're talking about what faith is right now, friend, not what faith ain't. We're talking about what faith is. And if we understand what faith is, we'll know what faith is not. John chapter 10, starting at verse number 22. Listen to what it says. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the, the dedication, and it was winter, and Jesus walked in the temple of Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews around about him and said unto him, How long do thou make us to doubt? How long do thou make us to doubt? God is not making us doubt. God is not making us doubt him. Christ is not making us doubt him. That's something we are choosing to do because of false information. We're choosing to do that because of false religion and listening to wrong doctrines. We are choosing to doubt. He's not making us doubt. Watch now. If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. If thou be the Christ, he said, tell us plainly. Well, what more do Jesus have to do? Listen to this. Jesus answered them, I told you and you believe me not. He said, I told you, but you believe me not. The works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness to me. The work that I do in my Father's name bear witness to me. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. You see that, beloved? The doubting and the unbelief is not because of Christ. It's because the person is not of him. Watch now. As I said unto you, see, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me me. Verse 28, and I have given unto them eternal life. My friend, he said, I've given unto them eternal life. Who are them? Those who believe and follow him. I can't just say I have faith in him if I'm not following him. Can't say I believe in him if I'm not following him. He give those of us who follow him eternal life. Those of us who really have faith in him eternal life. Listen, my friend, listen. I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and they shall never perish. These are God's words now, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hands. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, 
and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Verse 30, listen what it says. I and my father are one. I and my father are one. Then the Jews took up stones against, uh, again to stone him. Am I your enemy, friend, because I tell you the truth? Am I your enemy, friend, because I tell you the truth? Don't throw stones. Don't throw rocks and stuff at me. I'm telling the truth. I'm, tr I'm preaching according and teaching according to the word of Almighty God. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? Then the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not. But for the blasphemy, because that thou, being a man, make thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it, listen, is it not written in your law, I say, ye are gods? If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemy, because I say I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my father, believe me not, he said. Watch now. But if I do, though ye believe me not, believe the works that you may know and believe that the father is in me and I am in him. You see that? You can't, faith is not just believing in God, friend. Faith is also believing in the Lord Jesus Christ because he said me and my father are one. Can you understand that, friend? Is that a little clearer for you? I know that there are many religions out there, there are many doctrines and teachings out there that want to make us believe that we can believe in God any way we choose. But that's not faith, friend. Faith is believing in God the way that God intends for us to believe and have faith in Him. Can't do it the way I want to. There is a standard, there is a set way for us, my friend, to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's make sure that we're paying attention to what God is saying. True faith will cause you and I to believe in the whole God. True faith will cause you and I to believe in the whole God, not just pieces, bits and pieces of who God is, not just pieces of the doctrine. No, no, it will cause us to believe in the whole God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. True faith, watch this, true faith in God will cause you and I both to believe that Jesus Christ is the full embodiment of God. Here it is. We are at another end of our segment. I pray uh, in the name of Jesus that you've heard from the Holy Ghost today and that everything that you've heard, you're going to put it into practice. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is what we're talking about. I'll see you later, friend. Bye-bye. People all over this world yeah, people all over this world say people all over this world, they're looking for Jesus. 